We are back live. Very honored to be here with you on this historic Thursday, January 26, 2017. Uh, this is an answer, a prayer of what's happening. Uh, again, Trump is not perfect, but he really believes he's doing the right thing. He is committed. And I know they're going to prosecute Hillary Clinton. They're going to go after the crime syndicate. The crime syndicate knows that. That's why they're so vicious. That's why they're so desperate. Uh, Trump is first going to deliver on as much of the plan as he can so that people see that it's real prosperity and that they can actually run their own lives. And then they are going to set the dogs loose as soon as uh, the people are in place. Sessions and others are not in place yet. Uh, and the enemy may try to still set off a nuke, bomb, kill Trump. Uh, they're openly calling for it, trying to sell the idea that it's a great thing. We were told by insiders uh, months ago, Paul Watson was, that the new Homeland series was coming out and that terrorists listen to me on the radio and that they then go out and carry out terror attacks. I didn't see it last night because I can't keep track of all this, but I got some phone calls and said it was clearly that. And, and of course, they admit that the new X-Files has a character based on me who's actually a good guy because Chris Carter has said he thinks I'm a good guy and so it shows Chris Carter is a patriot. I've been told that for a long time. Uh, but uh, that's because he has a lot of power, obviously, to put out his own productions. That's pretty rare. Uh, I, I haven't seen this Homeland episode yet, but maybe later people can call in. But ABC airs promo for a show about president being shot during Trump interview. So this is what they're pushing on every front, ladies and gentlemen. And again, uh, they've got all sorts of straw men out there that look and sound like me uh, saying things that I haven't actually said and just putting out stories that I've been arrested. There have been like, I don't know, more than 10 stories since Cleveland showing the state police and Cleveland police escort me out of a square where communists wouldn't let me engage in free speech and attack me. And the same thing happened when I tried to get in the entrance to the inaugural, the communists came and attacked us and the police drugged me out again and said, uh, no, we're gonna close the entrance, you're not allowed to now. And then that turns into I've been arrested. So this is how they deceive you. And again, it isn't about me. It's about understanding, folks, that these are a pack of criminal liars. But it's worse than that. I've really thought about this. The crew concurs, and I'm sure of it. I've looked at it from every angle. They are putting out blatantly false info to then have us debate them for weeks while they're busy trying to kill the movement worldwide to bring down the New World Order, and while other countries have self-awareness and realize the scam. And they really don't want you to realize that Trump is delivering on every front because he's gone up from 41 points at his low to 59 now in just a few months. And that's a skewed poll. Their methodology admittedly adds 10, 15, 20% depending on how they do it uh, to us. We're talking about as high as 70% approval rating despite all of this. So this is a big, big deal. A huge deal. And Rasmussen and other polls uh, show similar trends. So a very, very exciting time to be alive. But they're going to strike back. And listen, if the globalists were really going to back off, Trump would let them scurry away. They're not going to. So let me just give everybody the big announcement. We're already basically in a soft civil war in this country. And the globalists are really looking at going into high gear. That's why Soros and the entire Fortune 100, basically, all gave, the lowest was $2 million the week after the inauguration or the week after the uh, election went in November. They all gave, Soros gave hundreds of millions after. Some companies gave 10 million, 20 million, 5 million, 3 million, 2 million. You know, Kellogg's gave 2 million and then 3 million. They, they gave hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars for what you're now seeing, these, these marches and the violence and all the rest of it. They're not just doing that for no reason. They're planning something big. So keep your, keep your eyes open, your ears up, uh, and your heads down, because when I say head down, I mean when, when they're shooting at you politically. We need to be popping up, taking them out politically, exposing what trash they are. So I think it's good that Trump and, and Drudge and all of us expose their lies, but I think we should just expose their lies and say, oh, look, more fraud from them. We know they're going to... Once we catch CNN and ABC News and NBC News and the BBC and everybody putting out fake inauguration photos from, from right when the gates opened and doing time lapses where they cut the middle, showing people emptying out in the evening, using every deception they've got on earth. Once you see that happening, just point out it's a fraud and move on. 
because they're distracting. We know they're liars. We know they're scum. And they are losing. The American people are seeing through it, and that's why they are panicking so hard. Now, before I go any further, I've got a lot of clips I want to play here. We are selling out of a lot of our best-selling products, and it could be months until more comes in. We got a small shipment because it's hard to procure uh, all of the different uh, super high-quality organic ingredients like the BioPQQ and the CoQ10, all the other things that are in DNA Force, our flagship product that has nerve regrowth factor in 100. And 70-plus clinical studies shown that it actually cleans out the cells and has the equivalent of, let's say, vitamin C is a howitzer shell. This is a hydrogen bomb on things. I mean, this is amazing. So go research DNA Force for yourself and why it's the ultimate antioxidant formula and why it is medical grade, but at a very, very inexpensive price compared to leading competitors that sell similar formulas for $200, $300, $400, $500. Discount is $121 right now. Sounds like a lot, but folks out there on the big uh, supplement sites uh, hail it uh, as one of the lowest costs out there that is medical grade. I mean, it is simply amazing. DNA Force is back. And the profit we make also funds this operation. But, I mean, this stuff has got, depending on which batch it is, $40 to $50 in each bottle just of the bio PQQ and the other ingredients. I mean, it is, it is mind-blowing how expensive the true bio PQQ is. I mean, crappy synthetic bio PQQ at half strength is like $40, $50 bucks for a little bottle at Whole Foods. That's why this has 175 clinical studies, nerve growth factor, energizes and more, 10% off. InfoWarsStore.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. InfoWarsLife.com takes you right to the supplement section. Also, uh, we have a super male vitality uh, sh shortage because, again, we have to get stuff that's California standard and we have to prepare it and it's cold pressed and all the rest of it. We've got plenty of super female vitality that's a similar formula. And I tell you, it works even better on women, is my experience. The stamina, the libido, the energy. When I haven't had uh, any of the super male around the house and forgot, I just take the super female. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, different dosages, different tweaks. You sign up for auto ship, uh, get uh, an additional 10% off on any of the products at InfoWarsStore.com. So Super Male Vitality is about to be sold out. So again, it might be a month or more until that comes in. I want to thank you all for your support, InfoWarsLife.com, or again, call toll-free 888-253-3139. And you can also get free shipping on orders of $50 or more. There's a lot of other specials from the free shipping to the 10% off with auto ship. Uh, there's a lot of other specials I don't have time to go over. Just thank you all for your support. InfoWarsStore.com, InfoWarsLife.com. And you can also find the entire line of Longevity products at InfoWarsTeam.com and get free shipping when you sign up for auto ship there. Uh, and you can also uh, get a lot of other big specials if you become a distributor. InfoWarsTeam.com is where you'll find the lowest prices for Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Osteo FX, uh, other products that are amazing like Pollen Burst that I endorse and, and, and so many others. They're at InfoWarsTeam.com. That's InfoWarsTeam.com or 888 Seven eight nine nine two seven seven triple eight seven eight nine nine two seven seven. Okay, uh, let me dive right back into the news here. Earlier, I played a clip of the Mexican president saying that he will not come up and speak to Trump, and that's because Trump said no need to come if you're not going to quote pay for the wall, and he's given Mexico several choices on how to do that, and again. Mexico gets hundreds of billions of dollars a year of money sent back down to it. And an 8 to $14 million wall is something that Mexico really should chip in on, and it would show a sign of solidarity, and it would also show that Trump delivers on everything he says. Quite frankly, it was a boast to the campaign, uh, and uh, Trump is, 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 is now following through on it. Uh, but the issue is, is that Trump will get the money one way or another, and so if the Mexican president wants to have a confrontation with Trump, then that's a, basically what is about to happen. Trump was very gracious when he was down in Mexico, and he would have been gracious if the president came up here and negotiated. Maybe Mexico pays for a third of it or something. But Mexico didn't do that, so now you're going to pay for all of it one way or another. And Trump knows America feels demoralized, and, 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 and America has been put in this brainwashed position 
of feeling like we're dirty for saying you have to have an ID to vote or we can have a fence or a wall when Mexico, and I'm going to go back and play the president's clip, then I'm going to get back into the death threats against Trump. When Mexico knows full well that they shake up a soda can, and that's what's in the reports, and spray basically hot pepper sauce up your nose, which is a smart way to torture somebody. I'm not saying it's good, but it doesn't really hurt you, but you think you're dying. It's way worse than waterboarding. It goes into your lungs, everything. I mean, it doesn't hurt you if you don't have a heart attack. Mexico is famous for massive, massive torture that has become totally institutionalized. Mexico, if students even mildly protest, hundreds of them get killed a year. I mean, 20, 30 at a time just disappear off the streets. Mexico does some horrible stuff. I'm not here bashing Mexico. I want Mexico to rehabilitate itself. I don't like the fact that Trump says, that, well, if you're ISIS, we'll torture you. I mean, I get it's ISIS, but... You know, you turn into this once you do this. I mean, it seems, well, you're a bad guy, so I can torture you. Well, that's how this started in Mexico, see? So I'm criticizing both Trump and Mexico at the same time. Because I told you, I mean, we're just going to tell it like it is with Trump. He turned out better than I thought, but still, there's some things that are wrong here. Uh, now, expanding on this, London Guardian, Mexico tortures migrants and citizens in effort to slow Central American surge. The globalists have put financial systems in all over the world to collapse the first world, the old world, the third world, to consolidate control. Not my opinion of fact. So when they say, oh, Latin Americans are coming here because of America, you mean because of globalist policies using American muscle to enforce it. Trump has real policies that will actually empower Mexico because by driving wages up here, it will force people to compete and drive up wages there as well. That's what the studies show. As you cut the wages, they actually, you, as you cut the wages in different areas of the world, it, it ends up basically creating what, what uh, Ross Pro talked about, a giant sucking sound. You can't cut wages in one country and then not in another and then not have all the jobs go there. What you have to do is have wages that are rising but that are put into areas that were already depressed to raise them up. But I'm not going to get into an economics lesson. It gets pretty complex. But people get where I'm going historically. That general wealth, a rising tide raises all ships. Henry Ford did some weird stuff, but he was right about paying his employees enough to buy the car. But see, that's a growth market. That's a renaissance market versus a Cloward and Piven, a Gen 21 global collapse paradigm. But I'm going off uh, the rails here and other subjects. Mexico tortures migrants and citizens in effort to slow Central American surge. London Guardian. There, there's hundreds of these stories. Financial Times. Mexico builds its own wall against migrants. Pressure builds for measure to stem flow of refugees from the South heading to the United States. It's that bad. And I don't blame these people wanting to come up here, but it's only going to collapse us as well, folks. I mean, it's, it's becoming joke level. Trump administration to publish weekly crimes committed by illegal aliens. Absolutely. There's been a major cover-up of that here and in Europe, and that's coming to an end. So when the president of Mexico says, and I'm going to play the first part of the clip because we played it all earlier, says, you know, Mexico doesn't believe in walls. Mexico doesn't build walls. On what planet are you living? I mean, do you think we're stupid? Mexico has a continued wall, a 100% wall on its southern border with Guatemala. Well, they had a fence. Now they're building a wall, a wall in some areas, a fence in others. Now they're going to finish it up as a big, strong wall because Latin America is collapsing. What if a plague breaks out in Latin America, south of the border in, in Central America? What if a plague breaks out? What if a war breaks out? Just everybody continues to pour over. You don't have a sovereign country if you don't have a controlled border. And I cannot believe that I have to sit here and explain this to liberal listeners who think it's evil and bad when we have a wall, but if the Vatican has one, or if China has one, uh, or if Mexico has one, or if Obama has one, or if Mark Zuckerberg wants one, Zuckerberg has like 700 acres. But there's other little pieces of property that are within his acreage and on the side of it and he doesn't want to have any neighbors so he's trying to force them to to to, uh, to sell and that'd be fine under english common law if he wasn't a hypocrite lecturing everybody else saying we don't have property rights the guy is a total fraud who thinks we're dumb efforts again let's go back 
to the Mexican president. Que requiera nuestro respaldo, ahí debemos estar. Ahí debe estar su país. Lamento y repruebo la decisión de Estados Unidos de continuar la construcción. So he says they regret the continued construction of a wall, which is for years far from the United has divided us. Mexico no cree en los muros. Mexico does not believe in walls. I have said this time and time again. Mexico will not pay for a wall. Okay, let's stop right there. Mr. President, you didn't read the art of the deal. If you'd have just shown up, been nice to Trump, you could have gotten out probably paying for 30% of it. But you're going to pay for some of it. NATO's going to pay. Japan's going to pay. South Korea's going to pay. The big globalist system saps America to build this whole world defense grid, and then we go bankrupt and fall into the ground. That's all you had to do was go up there, and Trump would have been eating out of your hand. But Trump cannot abide, he's basically OCD in a good way, about one-sided deals, one-way street screw jobs. So now, Mexico, you're going to pay for 100% for being pig-headed. So get ready. You're going to pay for 100%. Because Trump believes in fairness, he wants Mexico to attack with a bunch of anti-American garbage to rekindle our nationalism. He's basically going to use Mexico uh, and all this anti-American hate to only make his agenda more popular. But first, he gave you a chance. He went down and was super gracious, super nice, said, let's negotiate this, let's talk about it, come up. But if you're not going to agree to work with us on this, that means pay for some of it. If you don't know how this works, then you're going to pay for all of it. It's just unbelievable that people don't understand how Trump works. It's all right there. He, he's so easy to predict. They claim he's unpredictable. No, he's very easy to predict. You're going to negotiate. You're going to do a deal that's good for everybody, or you're going to be run over. It's that simple. And he's got control of the biggest, most powerful country there is to do it, and is about to relaunch the republic. So let me just warn everybody, including the globalists, get out of the way. We'll be back with the calls to kill Trump. Stay with me. <laughs> This has been adopted as of 2017 by the Department of Defense. All four branches of the military, Combat One. And guess who in the spring of 2017 has the exclusive right to sell this to everybody else but the military? Infowars.com. I want to commend Q and Patrick and the rest of our team. I want to commend Combat One for getting the big Pentagon deal. And I want to thank them for supporting us because they know we support America. We are the exclusive source of Combat One skin and muscle optimization, field foam, field spray, skin and muscle optimization, and broad spectrum hygiene tactical bath contains eight pre-moistened cloths. Ladies and gentlemen, these are incredibly affordable and they have patented proprietary systems that annihilate germs, you name it, across the board. That's why it's been adopted by the Pentagon, by the Defense Department, system-wide. I'm gonna go over some of the numbers, some of the proven statistics and the claims that Combat One can make right now. Never before has the public been able to access this new Combat One military-grade hygiene technology used by special operations to maintain hygiene during survival situations. Studied for safety and effectiveness by St. John's Medical Research Institute, St. Jude's, and the American Journal of Infection Control, the technology behind Combat One wipes kills bad bacteria while leaving beneficial skin bacteria unharmed. That's the key buffer. The toxic wipes, the sanitizers kill everything, including your immune system. They lower your fertility. It's all admitted. Combat One is able to do this naturally by only targeting the bad stuff. And again, it's all patented. It's super secret. 12 years, special forces testing it. This is something every info warrior needs to order, needs to have in their home, needs to use in their daily lives, whether it's cleaning your guns or your own skin, or when you're out camping, this is the game changer. The entire family of Combat One is available exclusively at InfoWarsStore.com. Just coming back from the river where I was using one of our water filtration straws, a uh, certain device we sell here at InfoWarsStore.com. And I had smacked my knuckle pretty hard the other day with my knife after cleaning one of the animals. Um, so I'm going to use some Combat One foam, show you guys that we actually use it, how well it works. Uh, this wound's been open for about five days now. I just dipped it in and out of the river, so just to better safe than sorry.
once I let that soak in, I'll wrap it up, field dress it nice and clean again. And it certainly is coming to the rescue with Combat One, born in America, made in America, and now distributed by InfoWars to America.